Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Clark and I'm a developer advocate by Auth0 by Okta. And today I'm gonna to use the Auth0 View SDK to add in basic authentication to our View app. Now we've created a starter project for us to kind of build on using the Auth0 View SDK. Check out the links below in the video description to clone this repo to your machine. Once you've downloaded the repo, you're going to need to CD into the SPA View JavaScript Hello World Composition API folder. Once that's your current directory, make sure to do an npm install to install all of your node dependencies. Now, once you've installed all your node modules, we're gonna to need to create a .env file to hold some variables for our project. Now, before I go any further, I just wanna make a note that you don't need to be an identity solution expert in order to set this up. The goal with Auth0 and the Auth0 SDK here is to allow you to focus on building your application and to let us worry about the identity part of your app. All right, so let's go ahead and create this env file. So I'm gonna to go touch.env, and that's gonna create that locally inside of my folder. And now I need to populate this with a Vite API server URL, and I'm gonna use localhost 6060. Now in two different terminal tabs, we need to run our API as well as our view front end. So in one terminal tab, I'm going to run npm run API, and then in the other one, we're gonna do npm run dev. All right, with both of those running, we are ready to start adding in the Auth0 View SDK and start setting up our user authentication. So first thing we're gonna do is configure our Vue.js application to connect it with an Auth0 account. So if you don't have an Auth0 account, check the links below again to sign up and create a free trial. All right, so after you've either signed in or created a new account with Auth0, you're gonna land on the dashboard view here. And now to create that bridge between Auth0 and that view app that we have running in the background, we're gonna to go to applications and create and register a new application inside of our Auth0 account. So I'm gonna to go to applications, click on create applications and add in the name Auth0 Vue.js code sample. Now this is gonna be a single page web app. As you can see, for examples, for a single page web app, you use Angular, React, or Vue. We're using Vue, so this is us, and we're gonna press create. Now go ahead and click on the settings tab. In here, we need to add in three URLs. Scroll down to the allowed callback URLs. We're gonna add in localhost 4040 slash callback. This is the URL that Auth0 can use to redirect our users to after they log in. Now, a little bit below that is allowed logout URL. This is the URL for when users log out. And then the allowed web origins is just localhost 4040. As it says, what web origin is allowed to use with Auth0 in our app. Now we need to add in the Auth0 configuration variables to our Vue.js application. So from this page in the settings page, we need to grab the Auth0 domain and the client ID values to allow our Vue app and the SDK to complete that communication bridge between these two. Now notice that the Auth0 callback URL is Vite Auth0 callback URL. It points to localhost 4040 slash callback. This is the URL that Auth0 is gonna to use to redirect our users after they successfully log in. For this Vue.js Composition API application, we're going to render a simple page, and this is gonna be a component for the slash callback route. So here I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna to do touch source pages callback dash page dot view. And we're gonna populate it with the following code. It's gonna be a template with a div, a nav bar, a mobile nav bar, a class with a slot inside of it. And then we're gonna have a couple imports down here in our script tag. Now this component will only render the navigation bar and an empty content container to help create a smooth transition between a route with no content slash callback to a route with content, such as the profile page, which we'll see here later on. Now that that's done, the next step we're gonna do here is integrate our callback page with the Vue.js router. So let's go ahead and navigate over to the router page. That's just gonna be source router slash index.js file. And we're gonna update it like this where we're importing that component here at the top. And then underneath the admin, I'm going to add in that path, that name and the component. Perfect. Now up next, we're going to install the Auth0 View SDK. Now a quick note here, the Auth0 View SDK is only compatible with Vue 3. It won't work with Vue.js 2. 
So now in our terminal, we're gonna do an npm install at auth0 slash auth0 view. Now, once this is installed, we're gonna navigate over to our main.js file and import the create auth0 function from our SDK. Now, inside of the app.use, we're going to bring in our create auth0, and then this is where we're going to reference the domain and client ID that we got from the auth0 dashboard. So you notice here that we have the domain, we're gonna import that env for both of these. And then for the authorization params inside of that object, we've got a redirect URI, and that's also going to be that callback URL environment variable that we added before. Now that we have this added in here, we're going to access the functionality of auth0 using the use auth0 method from within our Vue.js components. So now that we've configured the Auth0 SDK, it's connected to our Auth0 application that we created. Remember the view spa that we got, the, we added those URLs to the application and then we grabbed the domain and client ID. So now everything's all connected and wired up with our Auth0 account. Now let's go ahead and actually add in a login, a sign up, and a log out, the authentication bread and butter here. So the first thing we're gonna do is create some buttons that users can click on to initiate this flow. The first thing we're gonna do is a login button. So I'm going to go back to my terminal here, as you can see, and I'm going to make a new directory. This is going to be slash components slash buttons. The components folder already exists. And then we're going to create a new file in here for a login button. Now I'm going to populate with some pre-built code here. Feel free to pause this video and copy this down yourself but it's basically just a button with a simple class on it and it has a handle login function on the click. Now, as you can see inside of this script setup, we are logging in with redirect, which is a function that comes to us from the Auth0 SDK. This is going to log in and redirect our users to whatever state that we tell it to. And this is going to use the Auth0 universal login page. It's, and you'll see that as we actually step through this step and see it in our application live, but it's gonna handle all the authentication flow for us. Now that's all we need to simply have a login experience using the Auth0 SDK. Now let's repeat this, but also create a sign up button. So again, back in the terminal, let's do a sign up button creation here. And then back in VS Code, I'm going to populate it with this code here. Again, a similar button. Feel free to pause the video if you need to copy over this and, and come back and push play but it's just a button with a class. This has a handle sign up function, similar to the last button that we had. This one's also using the login with redirect, which is setting the target, but this one's different in the fact that it has this screen underscore hint of sign up. And finally, let's go ahead and add the logout button. So it's a similar page, just logout button. Now inside of this, I'm gonna copy in some code that I've already created. And again, for the third time, a third button here with a handle logout function coming from our Auth0 SDK, and it has a logout function with some return to parameters, basically saying just return back to the origin, so no specific page within our app. All right, now that we have these three buttons, signing up, logging in, logging out, let's go ahead and go to both our desktop and mobile nav bars and add these buttons into the template. All right, so over in the navbar file, you'll notice that we have the navbar brand, the tabs, and the buttons here. I'm gonna change this out, and you'll notice that there's a couple of changes to this. You can see that I'm adding in a couple of conditional logic here and importing in the buttons that we just created, as well as the Auth0 view SDK. We're also bringing in this is authenticated, which is just a Boolean flag that'll tell us if a user is currently authenticated or not on our website. And then with these ifs, we're going to check if a user is not authenticated, then show them the sign up and login buttons that we've created. However, if they are authenticated, then show them the logout. So as you can imagine, if someone's logged in already, we don't really need to show them the login. We actually just show them the logout and vice versa. Now that we've got everything saved, go ahead and go to localhost 4040 and take a look at your app. If you haven't already seen it yet, this is what it looks like minus the buttons that we've just added to the nav bar. So first of all, I'm not logged in. I haven't logged in yet. So we're seeing the sign up and login buttons here. When I press login, you'll notice that we do get a redirect. 
First of all, we have left our local host. We're now to Auth0 hosted server pages here. And you can see that we get a login box here to log in or alternatively sign up or continue with Google. Just for kicks and giggles here, let's go back and click on the sign up since we actually haven't signed up yet. And you'll notice the difference with this is it actually opens up with a sign up option first with unlike the last view that we just saw with the login as the other option. So I'm gonna set up with just a dummy email address here and press continue. The first thing it's gonna ask you here is to accept some permissions. This is specifically for our application. After I press accept, you'll notice that it redirects us to a profile page as we defined in the login and sign up buttons. And this is a little user object here about all the information that this application now knows about me. Now, if we go back to just the main page here, you'll notice that our buttons now show log out versus sign up and log in. Now, when I press the log out, all that we see here is a redirect back to the same page. It doesn't even flash at all, but we see that we need to sign up or log in. And that's it. So to recap here, while this might seem like a lot because this video took about 10 minutes, it wasn't a lot. All we need to do is using a view application, install the view SDK, grab a couple values from our Auth0 application dashboard, add a couple values to that same application like the URLs, and then create a couple buttons. And that's all you need to get authentication added into your view app. Now you can definitely take this further and customize that login page and the sign up page to look more like your brand. And that's another time for another video, but it's really easy to do that kind of stuff. And you can see that you can get up and running with authentication inside of your UV app in about five minutes or less.